Hey friends, it's Joe Carroll. Welcome to another episode of In The Mix. Today we're going to dive back into our mix that we have going for Kaylee Hill. We're going to take a look at the featured elements of harmonica and slide guitar and how we treated them to get them to set inside the mix exactly how we wanted. Alright guys, so I'm in the mix room and I have Kaylee Hill pulled up here, her new song Money Tree. Um, this is something we recorded for her pretty recently. Some of you may recognize her uh, from TV. She was on The Voice a season or two ago. She's an amazing vocalist. But right now she's traveling with a couple guys and um, we decided we'd get them involved in this recording. Hello Mike and Steve. So uh, Mike played guitar and Steve uh, played um, a harmonica. And uh, let me let me kind of give you a sampling of the song. It's it's a country thing, but it's 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 kind of raw. It's 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 really cool. Uh, let let me let you uh, hear it, okay? Okay, so you probably noticed as we was listening there that the, the slide guitar and the harmonica are, are, are a big deal in this song. They, they're, they're playing off of each other throughout the whole thing, weaving in and out around her vocals. So let's talk about them a little bit. Uh, for Mike's uh, guitar, uh, we put a good old SM57 right up against the grill cloth. And um, it, that went into the, the Warm Audio Tone Beast Black. No EQ, no compression. So I'm going to play you the raw sound, okay? Okay, it sounds, it sounds great, but it needs to be a little, a little brighter, obviously. So I love the sound of analog tape, so a lot of my important tracks, you know, have Acoustica Taupe across it uh, for some tape simulation. You can see those settings there. And then what I did is, is I, I love, this is a really powerful tool for me on electric guitars. This is my DSP multiband compressor. Um, I'm going to take it, take it off a bypass and let you see what it does. From time to time, just every here and there, as he strikes the strings, um, it's a, it, it, there's just this little harsh, you know, maybe just a little harsher uh, on the top end than it is at other points of, you know, where, where he's not playing those as aggressive or those notes. So you'll, you'll see how I'm attacking the, the, everything above 1K and pulling it back a little bit here and there. All right, watch this. So when he's playing in lower registers, it's not even it's not even metering at all. When he's more aggressive like that, you know, about 2 dB. So what that allows me to do, that, that's made the top end of the guitar a little more consistent. Just a couple dB, but that goes a long way. So then I can follow it with something like my SSL uh, channel strip here, and I can add 3 dB or whatever the case may be of high end back to it that's more consistent throughout the track. It gives it a little more bite and it allows it to cut through the mix, but not never appear really harsh at any one point. All right, see here I'm adding about 3 dB of around 4,300 cycles, I'm guessing. Look at that. And then I'm cutting a couple dB, it looks like 2.5 dB of around 300, 350 cycles. And I do have the filters engaged. Uh, it looks like probably somewhere around, um, whoops, didn't mean to push that, uh, 90 cycles and around 16 cycles. Uh, 16,000 cycles. I don't need anything above or below there. Okay, so now let me let me let you guys hear it. Okay, so it stays nice and consistent throughout not only the solo but throughout the song. And I do have some parallel compression going on here. You'll see that all these, uh, you know, non-drum instruments are hitting the um, um, this this bus right here which I'm bringing up underneath it with some parallel compression in the old Neve 2254 style okay and let's talk about effects in a minute let's get right on to the harmonica so this is Steven and we, we, we had a great sound captured that day it was a WA 47 into the Tone Beast Black with a WA 2A compressor on it um, compression really helps on harmonicas harmonicas are 
wildly dynamic or can be and players you know get in and out of the microphone so compression is your friend on harmonica so I was I was getting five or six dB of compression on that but inside the mix I needed some more treatment so let me let me play you the raw signal here okay that's a great sound but so what I did is I brought up the 6060 from DSP here and that's um, a really powerful plugin because it can do it just does so many things so I'm getting some tape saturation with this plugin right here and then I'm getting some more compression in the optical circuit styling think of the WA2A compressor compressor this is just giving me more of that um, I never want to go too far during the recording process you know I can always add more during the mix what like I'm doing here and then where this plugin gets really powerful is it allows me to add the uh, distortion to things. And it's got three different distortion circuits and uh, you'll see I chose the D100 here. And there's also a little EQ with the traditional E series. So here, I'm gonna play before and after back to back, okay? So you see, uh, I'm adding a couple dB uh, 7600 for some clarity, you know, for some punch and clarity within the track. That distortion is really helping. And just a couple dB of tape style compression. You see that? All right, so let's talk about what we did with effects. Uh, not a lot, really. The, the guitar, as you, as you probably noticed when I was playing the raw sample, beautiful spring re reverb built that was in the amplifier was, you know, was plenty to create the mood that we wanted. But I am using a little bit of delay, and that delay is used on the electric guitar, and, you know, the slide guitar and the harmonica. And so let's take a look at what it is here. It is the surprise. It's the McDSP EC300. I've got it set to the warm tape setting. My cutoff frequencies are 105 on the low end, and it uh, looks like it was around you know, 4,400, 4,500 on the high end. Saturation, you betcha. <laughs> Look at that. I'm turning that up to uh, you know, about halfway. And so let's, uh, let's listen to those two things together. Let's listen to the harmonica. You can really hear it. All right, so it's kind of a kind of a quick. Uh, what what did I have it set to? That sounds like a sixteenth. Yes, it was a sixteenth note. Okay. All right, so then reverb wise on the harmonica, I am adding some of that as well, and that looks like it was my Relab LX480 um, set to medium ambience, and this is a really short, you know, really short tight thing, uh, one point two seven seconds, and the diffusion is turned down to about sixty seven percent. Okay. So let me put that on and let you hear it. Okay, that's, that's, that's all I'm doing treatment-wise. The rest of it is literally volume automation. You'll see um, that's, that's a big part of my mixing. Just always keeping those two elements where they belong, you know, just, just behind her a little bit. She needs to be the star, the, you know, the vocal needs to be out front, but since they're bandmates, it's important that, you know, what they do is, is heard as well. So let's listen to this solo section, and this is all my treatment and effects and everything going, all right? All right, there you go, Kaylee Hill Money Tree. I hope you guys enjoyed and maybe learned a little something, some tips uh, maybe you want to try in your own mixing. All right, thanks so much for watching. All right, guys, as always, thanks so much for watching. I really, really appreciate your support and all your friendly comments and, and everything like that. It means a lot. All right, and if you haven't already, be sure to follow Warm Audio and myself at In The Mix with Joe Carroll on our social media pages like all the other cool kids are. All right, so here is Kaylee Hill singing Money Tree.
a tree.